Hey, I'm Mark Romanek, and I just wanted to thank all the online directors and everybody that's out there promoting the director's label DVDs and my DVD. It's, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it because we've been working for like two years on this DVD, and I've been working for 15 years making the videos that are on the DVD. So the help that you guys are doing for this is really, really appreciated, and I just wanted to say thanks. And I guess I'm going to answer a few questions here. Maybe it'll help you know a little bit more about what I think about my work. What is the feeling you get looking back on your body of work, all the artists you work with? Um, I mean, I feel proud of, the, of what I've gotten to have the luck to do, you know, I mean, I've uh, worked with some idols of mine and people whose music I really love and respect, and uh, I feel incredibly blessed and lucky. I've gotten to work with uh, David Bowie and Iggy Pop and Keith Richards and Trent Reznor and Beck and Madonna and ja Michael Jackson. I mean, I've gotten to meet all these incredible people that normally you'd just be excited to meet, but I've actually gotten to collaborate with them. So. To have it all in like one place on a DVD is fantastic and it you know, makes me feel great. What is the most challenging part of getting your vision for a music video enacted? Um, the most challenging part, that's a good question. Uh, is that playing kind of all the I mean, it's all sort of challenging. You know, you get an idea and the crew expects you to have a vision. Um, but you also have to be very collaborative. Usually, even if you have a lot of resources, any filmmaker will tell you that it's never really enough to get done what you want to get done. So, you know, production is all like continual crisis management and, and uh, compromise and uh, problem solving. And in the midst of all that, actually trying to remember what your vision was and keep a certain amount of grace as you try to do it is, is maybe the hardest part. Your videos have been some of the most imaginative videos ever put on film. Can you give us a sense of your creative process? Well, the creative process for making these things is different every time. It sort of depends on the variables. You know, who's involved, uh, if they have ideas themselves, what the budget is, or the proposed budget is. <clears throat> you know, uh, what I'm kind of into those days, the, the days where the, the track comes around. So, the creative process is different every time. I do try to really figure out what the song is really about in terms of thematically what are we dealing with, what are we making a short film about. Now I may choose to come at it very obliquely or I may choose to ignore it, but I do try to know what it is, you know, that's probably the first thing I do. What is the process by which you work collaboratively with artists who also have strong opinions on the creative direction of the music video? Gesundheit! <laughs> uh, well, I mean the collaborative thing is uh, it varies you know I mean some people and I've been lucky later in my career where a lot of the artists really are just happy to kind of let me do what I do and um, they may have some input in the editing or something but I present an idea and if they like the idea then pretty much they just let me they sort of trust me and that trust that they give me is something I never really take if you had to choose one video to <clears throat> represent you as a person both personally and creatively which video would that be and why that's kind of tricky. I mean, um, the one that I guess I'm most proud of is probably the Johnny Cash video because it's the most unique and it was the most incredible kind of experience for me making a video. The one that maybe represents my sensibility the most might be, surprisingly, it might be the Janet Jackson video for a song called God Till It's Gone. I really like the earthiness of it and the, I tried to make a really human video that uh, had a lot of warmth and was sort of depicting aspects of black culture that you don't normally see in most music videos, so that's the one that pops into my head. Who have been some of the artists you've had a personal connection with, both artistically and personally? Personal connection with? Well, you know, that's tricky to answer because I don't necessarily want to uh, hurt anyone's feelings and make them feel like I didn't have a personal connection with them. And I've been, fr you know, I've become friends with certain people I've done videos for and I've, uh, or we're I was friends with certain people before I did the videos. For instance, Michael Stipe, uh, I have a real connection with personally, and Trent Reznor. Um, I would, you know, to be honest, it's, um, sometimes we just do the job and we get along great and maybe we stay in touch a little bit, but I didn't necessarily become friends with those people. Whereas uh, Lenny Kravitz, uh, Trent Reznor, uh, Beck, uh, Anthony Kiedis, and I would say Michael Stipe are the ones that I've really stayed in touch with and consider friends. 
In your own words, what has the director's label done for music videos and fans? In my own words? As opposed to... <laughs> um, well, I mean, I just think they're sort of legitimizing a, 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 an art form that isn't often regarded as an art form. Sometimes it, music video has become like a pejorative, meaning it's like it, when you hear the phrase music video, people think negative things like flashy and ephemeral and fast cut and, and uh, you know, trendy or something. And that's probably true for most music videos, but the videos on the director's label series and the directors that are on that series, and I'm sure the directors that are going to be on the series as it continues, is the real exception to that. And they make some of the most creative and poetic and technically adventurous short movies in the last few decades. So Palm seems to be the only one that's actually saying, really take a look at this stuff in a, in a different context and let's, uh, let's really explore this. I mean, music videos have been around for a long time. I don't consider music videos started with MTV. I mean, short music films appeared probably before there was sound and, um, and certainly right with the advent of sound, there were short music, one reelers. So, you know, it's not a new thing, but music videos is, I guess, we understand it in the MTV era is a new thing to a lot of people. And so director's labels just, you know, make, hopefully, making people appreciate it. And they're doing a great service to some of those directors who, you know, it's really a service industry in one respect. You kind of like, someone hires you to do a job for them and to make, to envision their music and to help sell the CD. And then, you know, it's the director's job to kind of be in the background, and this is, it's really nice, you know, to be recognized, you know. And my last question, yeah. um, is there anyone else you would like to see on future volumes of the director's label? Yeah, I mean, there's tons of directors, there's, uh, I mean, if I start naming them, I'll probably forget people, which will insult them, but, I mean, I think of uh, uh, Peter Kerr, Jake Scott, Tarsim, uh, Jean-Baptiste Mondino, um, Roman Coppola, um, David Fincher, Jonathan Dayton and Valerie Ferris, uh, Mike Mills, uh, those are the ones that come to mind. I'm probably leaving some great directors out. Hammer and Tongs were great. Um, yeah.